John Cale is a Capitol Police officer assigned to protect Speaker of the House of Representatives Eli Raffleson, who he saved from harm in Afghanistan. Despite this heroic act, Cale is struggling to connect with his daughter Emily, who is passionate about politics. Hoping to impress her, he interviews for a job with the Secret Service, only to be rejected by his former college acquaintance, Carol Finnerty, who questions his respect for authority. After lying to Emily about the outcome of the interview, they both go on a tour of the White House. Meanwhile, President James Sawyer proposes a controversial peace treaty, but chaos erupts when a man disguised as a janitor detonates a bomb at the Capitol, causing the building to collapse. Raffleson and Finnerty are taken to a secure command center while Vice President Alvin Hammond is taken aboard Air Force One. The White House is put on lockdown, separating Kale from Emily. Mercenaries led by Emil Stenz take the tour group hostage, killing most of the Secret Service. Kale manages to escape and takes a gun from a mercenary named Carl Killick, but is unable to find his daughter. Meanwhile, head of the presidential detail Martin Walker escorts President Sawyer to safety, only to reveal himself as the leader of the attack, seeking revenge for his son's death. Kale eventually locates and rescues President Sawyer, killing a mercenary in the process. Emily records the video of the mercenaries and uploads it to YouTube before being captured by Killick. Walker demands $400 million in ransom for the hostages. Kale and Sawyer manage to contact the Pentagon, and Finity instructs Kale to use secret underground tunnels to escape. Meanwhile, Finity discovers the mercenaries' identities using Emily's video, and reveals that Stenz was disavowed and burned on a mission, leading to his capture by the Taliban. The fate of Kale, Emily, and President Sawyer hang in the balance as the events unfold. Kale and Sawyer discovered that Walker had terminal cancer, suggesting that his involvement was a suicide mission and that the attack was not for ransom. While attempting to escape, they found the tunnel gate rigged with an explosive and fled in a presidential limousine. They engaged in a car chase and shootout with Stenz on the White House lawn, and during the chaos, Kale was distracted by Killick holding Emily at gunpoint, resulting in both of them falling into the White House pool. A gunfight erupted, and an explosion occurred, leading to the presumed deaths of Sawyer and Kale. Following this, Hammond was sworn in as president aboard Air Force One. However, Kale and Sawyer were revealed to be alive, and they discovered that Hammond had approved an aerial incursion by Delta Force to retake the White House. Despite Kale's attempts to stop the mercenaries from shooting down the helicopters, he fails. Kale engages in a fight with Stans, and in the process, drops his White House passes for himself and Emily while escaping. Stans, having already learned of Emily from the video, takes her to Walker in the Oval Office. Meanwhile, Tyler finishes uploading to NORAD and launches a missile at Air Force One, killing everyone on board, including Hammond. Raffleson is then sworn in as president and orders an airstrike on the White House in a last-ditch effort to end the crisis. Finity informs Kale of Raffleson's decision, and Walker tells Kale over the White House intercom to surrender Sawyer, or he will shoot Emily. Sawyer ultimately surrenders himself to save Emily, knowing that Kale could still save them both if he was free. Holding the pair in the Oval Office, Walker reveals to Sawyer that his motive for the attack was to convey a message of American power. Due to Sawyer's dislike of military force and his decision to back out of the mission that killed Walker's son, Walker had grown to believe that Sawyer was too weak to be president. By launching a nuclear attack on Iran, Walker had hoped to regain international respect for America and avenge his own personal loss. He asks Sawyer to activate the nuclear football, but Sawyer refuses and tries to convince Walker that his son did not die in vain and that the peace treaty was a form of victory. When Walker threatens to shoot Emily again, Kale sets fire to the Lincoln bedroom, activating the alarms and sprinklers. In the chaos, Tyler tries to escape but encounters the tunnel gate bomb. When he tries to deactivate it, it detonates instead, killing him. Killick finds Kale and tries to kill him, but Donnie Smith, the White House tour guide, ambushes Killick and bludgeons him to death with a clock. After freeing the hostages and entrusting Donnie to get them out safely, Kale battles Stenz and ultimately kills him with a grenade belt. Using the explosion to catch him off guard, Sawyer attacks a distracted Walker, but Walker gains the upper hand and forces Sawyer to activate the football before apparently shooting him dead. 
Using updated launch codes from an anonymous source, Walker targets various cities in Iran, but before he can initiate the launch, Kale smashes through the wall of the Oval Office with a presidential SUV and kills Walker with the SUV's minigun. Kale warns Emily of the airstrike, and she takes a presidential flag and waves it on the front lawn, prompting the pilots to call off the attack. Sawyer, who was believed to be dead, reveals himself to be alive. He had been shot, but the bullet was stopped by a pocket watch given to him by his wife. Shortly after, Finity contacts them and informs them that the mercenaries were not hired by Walker, but by someone else. Kale realizes who is behind the attack and asks Sawyer for help in exposing them. Later, Finity and Raffleson arrive at the White House. When Kale tells them that Sawyer was killed, Raffleson orders troops to be sent back to the Middle East, which would violate Sawyer's peace treaty. Kale reveals that Raffleson conspired with Walker to orchestrate the attack due to his opposition to Sawyer's treaty. He proves it by having Finity call the callback number on Walker's pager, which was the source of the updated launch codes. Sawyer arrives and has Raffleson taken into custody for taking the presidency by coup d'etat. Sawyer then offers Kale a job in the Secret Service and takes him and Emily on an aerial tour of Washington, D.C. on his way to the hospital. In response to the day's events, Russia, Iran, China, and other Middle Eastern and Asian countries agreed to sign Sawyer's peace treaty, recognizing the need for increased peace. Thanks for joining me for this movie recap. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more movie recaps. See you in the next video.